In this video, let us see what is an algorithm, flowchart, and a pseudocode. An algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure to solve a problem. So we can write an algorithm in just plain English. So for example, let us see the algorithm to find the area of a rectangle. So you have to mention the steps here. Step one, it is read length and breadth of a rectangle. Step two, calculate area using the formula length into breadth. Step three, print area. And step four, it is stop. So it is just the description of our solution step by step in plain English. Let us see another algorithm to find the largest of two numbers. So read the values of A and B. Compare A and B. If A is greater than B, then print A is the largest and go to step five. Step four, print B is largest. So otherwise B is the largest and step five, it is stop. So another algorithm to find the sum of the first n natural numbers. So enter first step, enter limit, set number is equal to one, set sum is equal to zero, repeat the following by number less than or equal to limit. So this is the loop statements. So you have to put it like this, repeat the following. So add number to sum and set equal and set equal to sum. So this is sum equal to sum plus number, increment number by one. So this is repeated until the number becomes limit. Step five, it is print number and sum. The algorithm to find the sum of digits of a number. In the number, set sum is equal to zero. Repeat the following while n greater than zero. These are the repetition statements. Extract last digit from the number. Set sum is equal to sum plus last digit. Eliminate the last digit by dividing by 10. So these are repeated until the number becomes zero. And step four, it is print sum. So <clears throat> next algorithm uh, to find the largest of three numbers. Read three numbers, A, B, and C. If A is greater than B and B is greater than C, then print A is the largest number and go to step five. Step five is two. Otherwise, if B is greater than C, then B, then print B is the largest number and go to step five. Otherwise, print C is the largest number and step five, it is stop. So it is just the description of the procedure in plain English. So now let us see what is a flowchart. So for flowchart, it is a graphical or pictorial representation of an algorithm. So when we describe the algorithm in pictorial format, it is flowchart. So these are the symbols that we used in the flowchart. Uh, Oval or rounded rectangle, it shows the starter end of an algorithm. Arrows represents the flow of data. Circle, it is a connector, shows the connecting points in an algorithm. So when we want to connect different parts of a flowchart, we use the connector. Parallelogram, it is used to indicate the input or output statement. Rectangle, it is used to indicate the assignment and executable statement, used to re represent the process that happens inside the computer. Double-sided rectangle, it is... Uh, uh, used to represent the function call, rhombus or the diamond it is used to represent the decision-making statement. So this is an uh, example to find the uh, area of a rectangle. The flowchart for this is start, read, length, comma, breadth, area is equal to length into breadth. So this is an input operation that we put it in the parallelogram. Next, it is a process that happens inside the computer. So we use the rectangle. Then print area, it is an output statement. So again, parallelogram and then stop. <clears throat> so pseudocode, it is a high level description of an algorithm using the notations of the programming language. So pseudocode, it is, uh, in pseudocode we use both uh, natural language, the English language, as well as we use the notations from the programming languages. It is a mix of natural language and programming language. It's not just programming language, uh, it is not the code that we written in that programming language, but we take some of the notations from the programming language and write the algorithm and write the algorithm, then it becomes the pseudocode. The pseudocode to find the largest of two numbers. 
So this is the pseudo code to find the area of the rectangle. So begin read length into breadth, area is equal to length into breadth, print area and end program. So when you have an if else statement, uh, so we can put uh, the pseudo, we can write the pseudo code like this. For example, if amount is less than 1000 interest rate, else interest rate is equal to. So this is the end of if, so you can write end if. So this is another example. If game equal, game number equal to do solitaire, else. Inside the else, there is again another if else. So this is the end of that if else. So we can write end if. And this is the end of this if. So again, you can write end if here. So the repetition, you can write this while count less than equal to zero. After the end, at the end, you can write end while. <coughs> So you can write an example, find the largest of two numbers. So first we read N1 and N2. If N1 is greater than N2, print N1 is the maximum, else print N2 is maximum. So this is uh, the end of it. So you can write end if. It is not just the programming code. We, we are not uh, supposed to follow the exact rules of the programming language, but you can write, use the programming language for, uh, terms and write the algorithm. So that is pseudo code. So another example, the pseudocode to find the bubble sort. So the bubble sort has the two inputs, uh, that is the array E and the size of the array E. So begin, for I equal to one to N minus one, do. For J equal to one to N minus one, do. So this is the first loop and this is the inner loop. So if array of J greater than array of J plus one, we have to swap the elements, swap A of I comma A of I plus J. So this is the end of the if, end if, and this is the end of the for, end for, and this is the end of this for, the end for, and this is the end of the uh, function that is end. So this is a pseudocode for finding the bubble sort. <clears throat>